Hey, greetings YouTube. Performance reviews, where I give you the review from technician's point of view. And I guess today is a little bit more of a technical tutorial. I have had a hide a hose in my house for about five years. And at the time, it was the only really retractable hose out there that retracted into a central vacuum pipe. I think the only other one was a Canavac, which was horribly unreliable and doesn't even need to be discussed. But since then, there has been a company called HP, who's a big player in central vac, and they've come out with what's called a chameleon valve. And the chameleon valve was designed to deal with all the deficiencies of a hide a hose system. Now the hide a hose is still great, and I would still recommend that people get them. But if you can get a chameleon valve, it is an improvement. One of the biggest improvement with the chameleon valve is its ability to retract requires a little less friction. It has the ability, as you see on the end there, to just plug into a normal valve if you pull it out. So that means if you have one retractable hose and so you wanna go back in the car or somewhere else within your house, you can plug it into a normal outlet. So that's kinda of cool. Also, when you put a hose sock on it, it doesn't create extra friction or lose suction like the Hida hose does when you do that. And that is a big advantage there. The other thing, is the way this locks up and seals up is significantly better than the hide -a hose. Let's get to the conversion. First, let's pull the hide -a hose out of the wall. I have a 65 foot version. Now that we've got the hose pulled out, let's take a look and see what we have here. I have a bunch of retrofit goodies uh, to make this happen. And HP has a kit to make this happen. And that's what I'm gonna be using today. This sort of stuff is generally not available to the general public. This is kind of like stuff for people in the industry of course have this, which won't fit in there. Just to confirm that, we have this. So we're gonna start taking things apart and seeing how this is. Now I put this in long enough ago that I've forgotten what's inside here and what this looks like. So now for my memory, everything should just accidentally turn the unit on. Looks like I left myself enough room to work with, which is good. I can just do those right now. And now we got the Idaho's hose valve body and things to work with. So I somehow have to put this in this hole I'm not quite sure about how that's gonna fit. Looks like this adapter plate that I was given is for the really old Hida hose. I 3D printed this. This is not what I have. Cover for this, which will fit very nicely right there. I think we're going to do this. I think that I'm still gonna have the cover be bottom open just because that's what I've had. All right. Now that we have the hide -a hose valve itself out, uh, June 2017. And you can see where it's been, it, it sits with the gasket in there, but it's kind of been sucking up the, the dust and debris from inside the wall. Just because again, this doesn't make a great tight seal. And though, if you haven't seen one of these, how these work, is there's a bladder in the middle that it tightens up. And how the chameleon works, is there's a cam system where it locks in. Much better design. Again, this was specifically designed after the hide hose to address some of the complaints some of the installers had. So we've taken the frame out of the wall right here. And now it's time to use the cutter. All right, looks like 
that has done its job. Really fantastic. You can see the blades sticking up there. The blades don't cut us. Now we're gonna reach in, grab the pipe. Let's see what kind of mess that left on there. Yeah, I did get a full start on there, unfortunately. But the good thing about working with PVC is you can just clean that up real quick with a blade or something. So now this guy just kind of goes in its place. Um, I'll set that there. I have to trim the ears off on this so that they said, according to the instruction manual, the box. According to the instruction manual, what you're supposed to do is just take a knife and score it a bunch of times and then make it break. Yeah, that worked really, really well. That's kind of amazing. Again, I'm just scoring this. Yeah, that's just pulls right off. That's brilliant. Okay. Um, so this is gonna just pop in there. We're gonna put these guys back on there. Now, I personally prefer the wire knots in terms of this sort of thing. Um, my friend, the good doctor, he prefers the, the crimp on kind. The reason I like wire knots is I can change them, service them and um, diagnose stuff easily. So. Just my personal preference. Some newspaper down here, an attempt to mitigate what's going on. Oddly enough, this is an ad that gets sent to me. I can't believe they still send this sort of stuff. I have the same glue from years ago. It's not in the best condition, but I think it will bond just fine. So it would appear that there is a small size difference between these. Um, I thought it was a direct replacement when I looked at this. There we go. Um, you can see one to one, <laughs> it is not. So that means I must go trimming. <laughs> Well, I've had to do an unusual amount of trimming on mine. You can see there is just a fucking mess here that would focus on what I had to do. So now we're gonna put this plate on and this is kind of like doing, you know, changing a tire on a car or something like that. You wanna kind of do a cross pattern when you torque it. Let's see if I can. And you don't need to go super hard on these. These are just grommeted into plastic after all. Now that shuts. So that's the first part of the retrofit. I had some pipe come loose on my fitting, which is my shiesty work on my own house. So I'm gonna go to the basement and take care of that. All right, we got a couple more steps here. The first is this has to go in here. All right, so what that is, is in case you wanna pull the hose out and use it elsewhere, that's the cat for that. The next thing, it's optional, but they give you, next thing is they give you this as a sticker. And this, this way you can put this on and show somebody like right here um, how that should go. That way if anybody ever moves in here or something, uh, or my wife uh, thinks it's the hide hose still, she can scan the QR code. And that just shuts like that. All right, it's now 10.34 at night. Always do my best work here at night. So the valve opens up. Let's make sure it turns on. Turns on. Let's uh, connect the hose here, which locks just like that. 
now we've got it attached. Let's take a look. Let's, uh, let's retract the hose, see how it goes. Now you wanna lay the hose out as much as possible to ease its first couple insertions. And unlike a hide hose the unit is fully sealed when the door is open. You're actually unsealing it right there. Really a nice feature of the chameleon. To use, just pull it back out. First time pulling it out after retracting it. There's the hose, and it just locks in place like that. Meanwhile, this hose, you know, it's got a lot of features on it. It's got a swivel, and it has a much better handle, which I've already been using. This handle, you notice it looks like a regular electro valve handle, and I like that. Um, there's no switch on it, though that's coming. There's going to be a RF switch that does not require batteries. That's going to be very interesting when that comes out on the market. Um, this has a suction relief valve on it, which my Hida hose handle did not have. And the Hida hose handle, the swivel was on here on this generation. They later would remove this. So this is kind of a cool piece of, you know, to its era tech that I'm probably just going to save and preserve or... Maybe I'll put a hide hose somewhere else in my house. I've been toying with the idea of putting one in my master bathroom, like a small, like 20 foot or 30 foot hide hose. So that's kind of what's going on there. And I, I've got this guy here because I, I just wanted to talk about it. Now that we have the ability to put an electric nozzle on a retractable hose system, it eliminates the need for a traditional central vacuum installation. As we get into the future, I think we'll see that old school valves just kind of fade away. A few more things before we go. This is not a review video. This is just strictly showing what I did in my house. You could use this as a how-to, but I am not responsible if you mess anything up in any way, shape, or form. Thanks folks for watching my um, Hi to Host Chameleon conversion video. Don't knock me, YouTube. We're just talking about vacuum cleaners here. I would like to note, I want to thank um, HP Products and my HP product representative. Uh, they provided this product free of charge. Uh, so I want to just disclose that perfectly clear. And I want to also talk about whoever wrote this manual. Fantastic job. Thank you so much for writing a technical manual that's simple and like four pages long. So really like that as well. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. Comment below. Tell me which is your favorite, hide a hose or chameleon. If you really like our content, go check out our Patreon page. And if you just want to talk about vacuum cleaners some more, check out Discord. It's not as restrictive as the comments below. And have yourself a wonderful day.